Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, I'll be talking about the top five mind blowing feature which Cypress offers, which no other automation testing tool offers for free right now. And these are the features that we are going to be discussing in this particular video and hope you will understand how powerful Cypress is compared to any other testing tool available in the market. And I mean, there are so many pros and cons available between Playwright and Cypress and Selenium because these are the three most popular automation testing tools available in the market right now. But Cypress features, which I'm going to be discussing in this particular video, is really top notch compared to any other features which is available in any of the automation testing tool. So let's see what are these five top feature which Cypress offers which no other automation testing tool offers at the moment. The first feature is the Cypress app itself. As you can see the Cypress app is so clean and neat to understand what type of testing that we are trying to run over here. It could be your end-to-end -end test or it could be your component test and based on the test that you are trying to run it is going to show you all the different tests that you can execute within the browser that you wanted to run and that makes your cross browser testing much easier and possible because from this you can see that you can choose the type of browser that you want to run and once you hit execute it is going to show you all the different types of tests which is supported based on the project that you have got as you can see within my project i have got my end-to-end -end testing and these are the tests which is sitting within my end-to-end -end test and all these tests are currently being listed over here so i can choose my api test if i want to execute and that's going to just run instantly or if i just run my ea test which is going to be the end-to-end -end ui test and you will notice that the ui test is also going to be running over here so all these things i can visually see from this cypress app not only that i can also do the object identification from here from this locator and also i can get the locator object from here i can also see the different output based on the console and not only that i can also go and see the different operation that the test have performed using what is called as the time travel option of cypress so these are really really handy while we actually start using cypress quite a lot while we develop the test as well as debug our tests not only that we can also perform recording of our test from here using their experimental studio option so these are some of the things that we can do in the Cypress app just on the execution mode. But if we just go to the runs option over here, if you have connected your Cypress app with the CI CD pipeline as well as the Cypress cloud, it is going to show you all the details over here. I mean, I'm going to talk about the Cypress cloud as a next feature, but for now you can see that it is already been connected over here. You can also do debug and there are a bunch of settings that you can choose within the Cypress app. As you can see, this is the project setting alone, which is specific to your project and all the different settings that you can set over here. And you can see that the experimental studio option is currently been enabled for me. And that's the reason why I could do the record and playback. But not only that, you can configure all these settings from here in the UI mode. I mean, you can see that, but you can also do the edit. Once you click that, it is going to take you to the VS code and it's going to show you what are the different settings that you can do. On all these great options, are actually sitting within the Cypress app and no other tool actually offer this level of flexibility to customize their testing suite. So as you can see, the Cypress app is really, really awesome. And the next feature is the Cypress Cloud. Cypress Cloud is otherwise called as the Cypress Dashboard while they initially started, has got a lot of different features that you can see in one single place. As you can see, every time while there is a test execution happens in the CI CD environment, something like this, you're going to have all the different integration of connecting your test execution directly with the Cypress cloud. So every single execution is going to show you all the results over here, like the execution results. And you can see all the detailed result of your execution over here. So this is exactly the same test execution result that you can see from your local machine, but actually running in the CI CD pipeline and then connecting it with the Cypress cloud, something like this. And these are all happening because of the integration or tight coupled integration with GitHub as well as the project changes that you have made with our record key options over here. So all these things are happening along with our project execution, which is going to help us give all the detailed information of what is going to happen for each and every execution. Not only that, we can also see that Cypress test can be executed parallelly, which will help us show what execution has happened for every single machine and each machine's detail is going to be shown as each and every time individually pretty much like how selenium grid does but here in the cypress cloud you're going to get all the details over here but not only that if you have a paid option of 
Cypress, then you can actually see that you can have a prioritization or the spec prioritization of your specification which is running and also you can do auto cancellation over here and everything comes with cost so if you are ready to spend some more money you're going to get some greater features of cypress dashboard but once again these are all just a few more additional features that you are going to be getting in the paid version but already the free version is going to offer so many different features which is going to be very very helpful for you to test execute and also see how the test executions are happening in multiple different machines along with the screenshots and the video capture is going to showing for you over here but as you can see the cypress cloud with the github integration not only just offers you the execution result that you are seeing in the dashboard straight away with the cypress cloud's simple integration we can also see that we can verify all the checks that the test or the actual commit performs during the execution and you can see all the detailed execution report in the github checks itself but this is quite awesome as well so these are some of the neat feature with cypress offer which no other automation testing tool really offers at the moment out of the box before we talk about the next feature of cypress you can see that all the features that we are going to talk in this particular video as well as even more amazing features of cypress are all available in my udemy course end-to-end -end automation testing with cypress and this course is updated just recently to the latest version of cypress and you can see that it has got all the features that you really require to work with cypress you can see that it starts with the getting started of cypress Cypress and then understanding the Cypress basics and then Cypress cloud and test retry and test runner and then configuration and also some more common automation testing scenarios and API testing, network stubbing, reporting, CI CD, Docker execution and more. So this course is almost like a complete power packed course which has got almost every single detail that you need to learn Cypress from the complete ground up. The third feature of Cypress is quite interesting and if you are already doing a quite a lot of UI testing and if you are working along with your developers, component testing is one of the feature which is very very helpful as well. So component testing as you can see over here is going to be very very handy while you actually start working with automating your application under development by mounting your application under test each and every component so that you can test them individually so this is very very handy as well so if you start using component testing we can actually find the issues much much earlier even before the application is even been deployed for testing because this is going to give you quite a lot of granular detail which we can't even get from the end-to-end -end testing so component testing is very very handy and not only that cypress actually comes up with a lot of different front-end js library support like react angular vue.js white and so many other coming based on the different kinds of toolings which is going to come up to the market and this is really really helpful as well so this is the real power of cypress and i think cypress is the only tool in the market which does support this much level of component testing support with all these framework compared to any other testing tool available in the market and this is one of the other greater feature of cypress as well and the next very very handy feature is the cypress apis itself I mean Cypress has got so many different APIs and these APIs really provide so many different functionalities which really none of the automation testing tool does offer. So this is the same API which is used to build Cypress itself and this API is also being exposed for the users or the developers who can empower their test cases while writing the test itself. And as you can see over here we have quite a lot of different events in cypress which we can use for our automation testing and one such event is going to be these as you can see we can do an on for the after spec where we can see what execution can happen during the execution is going to be failing or not you can also call on for a task which is going to print a console log or you can also call a task for seeding your test data which you can use so these are some of the events that we can use within cypress and not only that we can also control the way the browser can be launched and also how you can customize your test execution so these are some of the great examples of how we can use the cypress event not only that we can also write cypress custom commands as well all the custom commands of cypress is going to be sitting in the folder called as support where you can see there is something called as a custom command so if our test is not going to be using any custom command you can see that this is one of the example where we're going to be doing a login visit for each and every test but what if i wanted to perform this login operation in one single place something like this where i can just perform like side out login 
and then I'm gonna pass the username and password so this login method as you can see over here is basically going to be my custom command which is something Cypress also does for other commands that Cypress offer like visit or get or contains but this login as you can see over here is basically a custom command which I have written over here and this is exactly the same idea of how you can extend selenium test using extension method in C sharp so this is exactly the same idea but this is one of the greatest way that we can keep extending the Cypress itself which not many other automation testing tool offer and finally Cypress also has got a new custom query option starting Cypress 12 which is the same API for creating their own queries in Cypress and now it has been exposed for the developers to extend it for their test cases which we can write our APIs while testing our application. There are some conditions that we need to follow but these are very very good coding practices as well and we can see how we can extend our code. So these are some of the great extendable features which are available in Cypress using Cypress APIs which are not available in any automation testing tool right now. And the final feature which I think is the Cypress commands itself because there are so many different handy commands which Cypress does encapsulate so many complex features inside it something like the dot fixture, dot session, dot task and all these commands really really very very helpful for performing the complex operation while we try doing our in automation testing and these are some of the most interesting commands which I think are very very handy as well. Sessions are very very handy if we wanted to perform a login operation for each and every test method but we don't really have to do it each and every time we can just use the cypress session or the dot session command which is going to do the operation for us each and every time automatically. So as you can see this particular test is basically going to perform a login operation Operation, but it is going to be storing the session information and this way the second test is not going to perform any login operation rather this is just going to use the session operation automatically so that we can just use the session to perform the login instead of we doing the visit each and every single time so this is the power of the cypress session command which not many automation testing tool available in the market does support and not only that, Cypress also comes with a lot of fixture commands. So you can see that within this fixture folder, whatever that you have, like a image resource or a JSON file or a C data, we can just use these information within our fixture method, which is going to get all the data that we require to perform a login operation over here by getting the username and password. So these are some of the greatest things that we can actually do using the fixture. And there are even more functionality that we can do within the Cypress, something like the network intercept just using the scilot intercept command and this is very very handy while we try to do a network interception within our application and see how the request and response is going to come up based on an operation that we do within the UI and intercept if the API is going to bring up all the details that we are looking for. We can also use the scilot task scilot fetch operation to perform the seeding of the data as well as if we wanted to do a custom event to be executed. So all these handy commands are very very helpful while we try using that within our cypress tests so that's it guys these are the top feature which cypress offers which no other automation testing tool offers in the market right now these features as you can see are very very handy while we start working with a larger project and we also wanted to perform some of the complex operation and i think for ci cd operation and the integration with the cypress along with the cypress cloud and during the debugging operation while we use the cypress app and the intercept operation while we perform the api or network interception testing all these things are very very handy while we actually use in our day-to-day -day automation testing so let me know what you think about all these features and if you think these features was already there in any other automation testing tool maybe i'm missing in playwright or selenium just let me know in the comments below we can talk about the tools which we have never discussed in our exit automation channel which will probably be very very helpful for the people who are following along the technology especially in the testing area that's it guys once again thank you so much for watching this video and you guys have a great day